What's up e-riders? Welcome to another vlog. First of all, I hope you all really enjoyed my Rotterdam vlog that I put up. Me and Danique put a lot of work in it uh, to get that out and get it the way it is. I think I spent literally like four or five days editing straight up. So I hope you all smash that thumbs up on that video. Sadly, Danique couldn't be here today. She had to work. Hello everyone. Crazy girlfriend here. I'm not uh, be able here in the vlog today, but uh, I will see you soon. Bye. But even though we're gonna have to make do without the crazy girlfriend, I still have a good idea to get a good video for you guys. Like I said in the beginning of the year, I wanna keep pushing out content for you guys. I know there's not a lot of people in the Netherlands area doing these kind of vlogs, so I'm kind of going full in on that. So let's start this video off with telling you guys what we're actually going to do. Yesterday there was a press conference of the government and the good news finally came. The biggest part of the lockdown has been lifted. What that means is that I'm finally allowed to open my shop back up. So yeah, I decided I'm going to take you guys with me to my shop and use my shop as a little studio because it has the perfect lighting setup and figured I show you how I do my vlogs. So what gear do I use? I figured that would be entertaining for you guys. I hope you guys think it is. You may still see a little flash of the crazy girlfriend because we have to drop off some money at her place. She's gonna buy groceries. And she comes off to work when I still at my sh shop, so. We're on our way to her now. It's pretty cold outside today. Once again, misty. I can remember still saying that fog that bad as in Rotterdam doesn't happen often. Well, it's been three days straight now. It's actually quite annoying because I know now there's going to be a big open road next to our airfield. I'm going to have full headwind all the way, most likely. So I hope you all are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, midday, evening, night. Wherever you're from, I hope life is good to you. I hope you started 2022 out on a positive note, which is very important to me always. I always try to keep my vlogs positive. Don't focus on anything negative. Keep the positive vibes going. Of course, there's always problems. Everyone has problems. But I think how we deal with problems and how we choose to solve them is how we choose to be and show the world how and who we are. We all know what's going on in the world. We all have a rough time. And I want to try and be at least a little piece of light in your life. Make a difference, put a smile on your face. If I can at least do that, I know I did my job right. Well, this is actually the extended part of what you saw in our forest, where they're building that new highway. It goes all the way over here, and all the way back to the forest in my village. Technically, we're in Rotterdam now, or just about. Next to Rotterdam De Hague Airport. Now here comes the interesting part, we're going to have to, oh, well that's good. An opening exactly where we get here, normally you have to wait here like a couple of minutes. So behind these bushes over there, 
is Rotterdam the Hague Airport. Well, the headwind is not as bad as I expected it to be. If you live in Europe or in Netherlands, for uh, my example, and you're interested in buying one of these bikes, there's a link in the description of this video that gives you 100 euros off of your first purchase. It can be any model in their lineup. So you should definitely check it out. If you are from the Netherlands and you're buying one of these cool bikes, let me know, I would love to ride with you guys. Thank you. So we have almost arrived at the Nico Work now. And like I mentioned before, which is also the hotel where I work for as a photographer and filmmaker. So here we are. Let's see if she has seen us. Which I'm not sure she has. I guess she hasn't, so let's pull out the phone. So yeah, I just sent her a text message through WhatsApp telling her that I'm here. And I think I see her eating right there. Yeah, that's her. She could literally see me and she's just chilling there, looking on her phone. Say hello to our viewers. Hello, everyone. You could literally see me through the window. Yeah, I saw. We're going to smooth. Mm. Ooh, romantic. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. Well, now you still got a glimpse of the crazy girlfriend. Now we're on our way to my shop. So I got another fun story for you guys coming up. After this traffic light. You will see that lane splitter there. My dad actually knocked his rim off because he was watching at this building, trying to figure out what it was. He wasn't paying attention and BAM! Completely wrecked his rim and his wheel, of course, tire. It was pretty funny because he usually is the one telling me, yeah, always concentrate, pay attention in traffic. And then he goes and does that. I'll also see if I can reach my boy. My bro lives here. And he hasn't seen the bike yet, so it would be fun to uh, get his reaction on the video. Just gonna ring him up, see if he's home, see if he can get his reaction on the video, like I said. Let me grab my phone quick. I'm gonna speak Dutch to him though, just so you guys know. Yo, ben je thuis? Ik ben thuis. Kom eens even naar beneden. Ja, ik kom er wel. Yo, see you. Well, basically what I just said there was, are you home? He's like, yeah. I'm like, come down. He's like, why? I'm like, just come down. <clears throat> so now let's just see what he will say about this. Yeah, and double check the mic. So? I am recording you for my vlog. Hey, what's up? This is my boy. Kick him, man. Here we are. So we have arrived at my shop. This is my game shop, Atlantis Records and Games. I share this uh, shop with my dad. 
this side is all games, this side is all records. I decided to use this shop for a studio because it has the perfect lighting conditions. So let's go inside and I'll show you what I use to film the bike vlogs. Come with me. So, we have arrived inside now. Let's show you what I use to make the bike vlogs. First and foremost, the main camera. This is the GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition on a chesty mount. I have used the Media Mod case on it so I can use my Rode Wireless 2 Go on it. Um, you can see I'm using it right now and the other the receiver is on the camera. So that one I can show you actually in front because otherwise the audio would disappear. Um, what I can do is show you one of the other microphones, which is right this one. It's small, it has a tiny dead cat on it and you can clamp it on everything you want. It comes with this nice little pouch, you can uh, easily pack it. I pack all my accessories in the GoPro case, so that's also fun to see on the end. Well, what you're also going to need when you start doing these vlogs is a ton of extra batteries. So I bought a special 3-pack charger with two batteries included and in the total I have four batteries to use now on my GoPro and you need them because you're going to run out fast. On average, if I record for an hour straight up, well, the original GoPro batteries are pretty much down. Second GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition, this is actually the Nikkei camera which I'm using as my B camera. Uh, you've seen me use it as a face camera. The second uh, original battery I have is from this camera, but because today I decided not to use it, I have an extra camera for vlogging on the chest mount. But it's still always good to have with you. Then, of course, since we were talking about the face camera, the GoPro clamp. You can basically just joint this on anything you can clamp it to, the, the handlebars or down to the wheels for a nice low angle view. I purchased this because uh, Matt Epic Adventures uh, recommended it and so far I've been really happy with the purchase, so thanks again Matt. Then the cool stuff, <clears throat> this is the Insta360 1X2. I uh, got this for my birthday recently, even though my birthday was a couple of months ago, but ongoing situation, not important. Um, really happy with this, uh, the first vlog that I used it and you've just seen or most likely seen is the Welcome to Rotterdam vlog. And yeah, overall, I like the fact that I have a little tiny cameraman in my pocket and I can mount it on the invisible selfie stick, which is also a must if you're gonna do bike vlogs or any type of vlogs with this. So you don't have this annoying uh, selfie stick in your screen. And this is uh, more as a backup uh, or a C camera. This is my old GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, it got damaged during one of the vlogs we made for uh, an attraction park. I uh, put this on the chesty mount and went into a roller coaster and the guy checking the security bars knocked it straight on this camera and after that it hasn't been working well like it should, let's say it like that. So I still keep it with me, I'm very attached to it, I made a lot of fun videos with this. Uh, it's always good to have an extra spare or a backup, so I have in total three GoPros with me at all times. So I never run out of cameras or angles. Well, the last part of this kit is the selfie stick for the GoPro. Uh, well, pretty much straightforward if I have already the face cam on and I make some 360 footage. It's also fun to put, for example, the 7 on this stick and do a nice little turn around, one, one hand on the handlebar, make for some epic ang angles. So now you will think, how do you all get this into this small pouch? I'll show you. One. Start off like this. Get it in there nice and tidy. Put the extra microphone back in. And there you go, all set to go. 
I can put this either in my camera bag, which I took for today, or just in my normal backpack. But usually, whenever I go make a bike vlog for you guys, well, except for the self stick, that's an extra. But this is my go-to gear. This one is always on me, as you guys know, and this is, well, always in my backpack. So I hope this gives you a nice insight. Um, if you have any questions about the gear I use, please let, them, let me know in the comments below. And then, uh, well, it's time to put this pack back in the bag because I'm about to head out. Okay, so now I've shown you the gear that I use, how I use them and what I use them with. I hope you found it all informative. Um, for me, it was most certainly interesting to make it because I just re realized that I'm not very used to being in front of the camera anymore. So some pieces and bits may be a little awkward or seem awkward from my side. Bear with me, it will get better. I still hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. It, uh, I would really appreciate that. If you want to see more content from me or more super vlogs, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you really want to be the, one of the first people to view the videos, hit that notification, notification clock too. So you get an instant pop-up when I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram. Same name as my channel, Vincent Videography. If you're from the Rotterdam area or close by me, uh, interested in doing some group rides, you can follow 010Eskate on Instagram. That's the crew I'm trying uh, to start up and grow so we can get some group rides going. Uh, this was your friend Vincent from the Netherlands Super Squad. And I see you all at the next one.